Last fall, Jana, who works in the CBS family, reached out to us with questions about her omega-3 levels. Hey Doc, recently I learned that I have omega-3 levels that may be lower than optimal. Now that I'm engaged, I want to step things up even more as I prepare for my wedding. Any suggestions? So let's check back in with her and see how she's doing. Hello again. My wedding in November was wonderful. But I must admit, on our honeymoon, we did deviate a bit from our normal healthy lifestyle by not exercising or eating as healthy as we usually do. But I followed Dr. Steinbaum's advice and started taking a supplement to improve my omega-3 levels. It's important to me, especially now, to be the best version of myself. I'm thrilled to report that I got tested again and my omega-3 levels have increased. Thank you so much. It was truly great hearing from Jana, and this is such an important topic that we invited cardiologist Dr. Suzanne Steinbaum back again to the show to talk about the importance of omega-3s. Doctor, welcome back. Good Thank to see you. you. Thank you. I love that Jana is even more proactive about her health than she was. And she mentioned falling off the wagon during her honeymoon, mm -hmm. but I think we can uh, all, un yeah, we understand that. Yeah. Many people may not know that our bodies don't make omega-3s, but you can get them from foods like these. And cold water fish is another popular source of omega-3s, but the amount of omegas you get in salmon can vary greatly. So, Dr. Steinbaum, tell us, do people really know how much they're actually getting? Not always. A nutrient like omega-3s might be difficult to get even if you're being proactive about your health and even if you're trying to eat a balanced diet. You have to ask yourself a couple of questions. Are you getting enough fatty fish or seafood in your diet? Are you taking a daily supplement, a fish oil or an omega-3 supplement? And think about in the last week, have you consumed milk or juice that is fortified with omega-3s. And lastly, you have to consider if you might have low levels. Here's the reason why. As a member of the Global Nutrition and Health Alliance, we just completed a study on omega-3s through an educational grant through RB, who I partnered with. This study, 98% of the people were shocked to find they had low levels of omega-3s, being that they considered themselves healthy. And these levels were below the recommended range for heart health. Let's talk about some of the reasons why omega-3s are essential to our overall health. We know that omega-3s do so many different great things for the body, but as a cardiologist, I really like the heart health benefits. Omega-3s can support healthy blood flow to the arteries. And they can also support healthy joints and are important for cognitive brain health. They can even be good for your skin and your hair. Which is why when I was here the first time, I recommended to Jana that you might want to consider a supplement. I like Mega Red Advanced 4-in-1. It's a high potency blend of omega-3s and has one of the highest amount of omega-3s in a soft gel. Great advice. And as always, be sure to talk to your doctor before taking any supplements. Dr. Steinbaum, always a pleasure having you on the show.